Hey guys, this is a bit of a different video. This everything new under the sun here, by the way. Thanks for coming along and watching. This is a, a dream along with me sort of a video. This is uh, you're looking at a drone. This is something I would absolutely love to get, and uh, I'm really enamored with with the idea of a drone right now uh, for a few reasons. And uh, a few reasons would be um, I was. I was thinking it would be an incredible thing to get some really cool shots well around my property and things that I'm doing, but I thought it would be a really cool perspective to have a drone um, that uh, takes uh, is basically becomes your cameraman. And uh, I got a couple of drones here and just kind of pros and cons cons to each. Now I don't know if I'm going to um, uh, get any of them anytime soon, but I want to talk about a few of them there. I had to had some notes here that I have off to the side. Um, let me just rearrange that there. That's better. Okay. Now, what you're looking at here is the Lily. Actually, let me start with. Um, I'm going to go to the. Uh, there's this drone called the JJRC drone. And I was looking at this. You can actually get uh, this drone off eBay for about. Um, it is about well, it's less than a hundred dollars Canadian, and that's free shipping from you know from China. This is a, a I guess it's a Chinese RC manufacturer, and um, some reason why I like it is uh, because it's, it's a little bit of a bigger size, so I potentially it could potentially carry a payload. And uh, I was thinking of maybe hanging up my Garmin Verb off it. But what really intrigued intrigued me about the idea of uh, drones uh, was the fact that um, they have these now uh, drones that uh, do auto following and uh, one of these examples is this Lily uh, drone and so what you do is you actually take this drone you actually throw it up in the air it starts flying and it starts recording you basically carry a little fob with you if I go down on their web page, it's really, really cool. You can see how it is. So they have this fob down here, and it's it's really genius. I'll tell you about it in a second. It's really, really cool. So uh, you have this fob here, and that's effectively what it follows. It's like a 2.4 gigahertz or 5.8 gigahertz thing. You throw this drone up in the air. It auto flies itself, and then you tell it to follow you, um, or to uh, you know do a circle around you, or do some other pattern. And it will do that, and it will keep you in its view, so that it can uh, videotape you or whatever the subject is. And so you can see the the uh, drone here taking a video of someone running a race or something. And it it will lead you uh, if you want, or it will trail you and take a video, and it will keep you in the the center. One of the really cool things that I thought this would be really neat for is it could become. I uh, kind of my own cameraman, your own cameraman, uh, and so you don't have to hold a selfie stick out, you know, out out like this. Uh, so when you're walking along or doing a video, you can have this this thing hovering up there taking video. Now you might say, aren't those drones loud? You know, wouldn't you hear the hear the whir of the the blades? And yes, you would. Normally you would, and that's the drawback of um, one of these other guys like the JJRC uh, 8C. Uh, HHC, which it does have a, a quote high def 720p camera on it uh, that does record sound, but of course you really need another audio source because uh, obviously if it's 20 feet up in the air, it's not going to hear your voice. So then you have to uh, record your own audio, and uh, you have to then sync it up after. What is really cool about this Lily, which is coming out this year, I think. Uh, yeah, I believe it's coming out this year, this spring. And there's another one I want to show you, is that the little fob that you carry in your pocket, it, it actually has an audio recorder. So it records all the audio you're, you're saying, and then it automatically syncs your audio with the video coming from Lily. It is really cool. So they call Lily, and, and they say Lily flies, uh, flies itself. Uh, no controller required. Focus on your activity while Lily flies itself to capture your adventures. And apparently... What it does is, if it sees you, uh, example, uh, as an example of a snowboarder, if it sees you going over a jump and going into the air, it'll automatically switch to slow motion video. Now that is really cool. And I thought I could do some really neat stuff uh, with something like this. This technology um, really makes some cool, interesting videos. And I, I've seen uh, 
Nomadic Fanatic now has a drone, uh, and, and it's one that can hold his um, his GoPro, and you know it's pretty cool. But there's some really cool technology out here, like Lily, that's coming up. Um, this one, a particular one, does 1080p, 60 frames per second. Uh, it does 120 frames per second slow mo and 720p, and it takes 12 megapixel uh, stills. Let me see if it will turn that. Yeah, so it's showing the video. I guess that's the video there. Anyways, I just thought uh, I just thought that was super super cool. Um, the other one that sort of auto flies and it is available uh, this uh, year is this one. This is a small one, a Nago Fly, a smart nano drone, and it's similar to Lily. Um, it will follow you, um, and it actually has obstacle avoidance, which Lily doesn't. Um, Lily, Lily is about $400, $500, I think. This one's about uh, $300 Canadian. Uh, so I guess Lily would probably be like $600 Canadian versus $300 for this one. Um, and this this is another one where you just kind of throw it up in the air and it, and it flies itself. It's really cool. Uh, and you use your smartphone to, to fly it. I'll just show you a quick little intro video here of, of this one uh, because it's so cool. Um, I, I won't, won't do it too long. We'll see if it plays here. While I'm watching live, it's absolutely amazing. I, I think it would make some really cool, really, really cool, engaging videos. <clears throat> I'll just do a quick bit here so that I don't get zapped for uh, YouTube playing or something. So this is Lily, and uh, so all you do is you turn it on basically and uh, throw it up in the air. Let me go back to here where he throws it up in the air here. What? I just think that's wild. He just tosses it up in the air. Okay, watch, you can just watch it now. It'll start flying itself. No, it's not wild. So, and then he goes uh, down. He goes down the hill. Uh, you should go see this. Uh, it's go, go to a lily dot camera. <clears throat> so in this case, it trails the snowboarder behind, and it records video, and then it just uh, lands in his hand. And then he turns it off and goes up the ski hill. <clears throat> so I just thought that was super, super cool. And really neat stuff. And it's uh, also uh, waterproof. You can actually toss it in the water. Let me, uh, let me put that back. So he actually just tosses it in the water. And it, uh, it takes off out of the water. So that is pretty cool. Um, you, you, pay, you pay good money for it. Um, but... It is pretty, pretty cool technology. And I thought, man, that would be really cool for um, doing some, doing my walk and talk, you know, where I could walk down the chicken shed and have this thing leading me. Now, this particular one has no collision uh, avoidance. Um, the the Onago Fly, Onego Fly, whatever you call it, um, does have coll collision avoidance. It has some infrared stuff going on. Um, but this thing wouldn't carry a payload of my Garmin Verve, for example. And, uh, I think there was some other drawbacks. It takes a, it's a bit more uh, manual manual stuff that you need to do with this. I think a little bit more. And experience the most meaningful. Oh yeah, this this is where it's actually taken that. Uh, uh, you can trigger it to take uh, photos in the air. And outdoors, use smile detection to autom Got smile detection on it. Um, I won't play all of this, but you get, check this out. You know, this is pretty cool stuff. It's just a tiny drone. A it's got a, a camera built in. And uh, what else here? 50 minute flight time, which is, which is pretty cool. Smile detection, instant takeoff landing. The Onigo app, which I don't really have. Uh, well, I don't have a cell phone to use an app for. I have an iPad, um, so this wouldn't necessarily work for me. It's got GPS navigation. Um, you know, it's got a one button return, so it just flies back to you if it's got loss or whatever. It is, uh, again, it's just uh, really, really, really cool stuff. Um, and these these drones now are getting so cheap and uh, so smart. You literally just turn them on, you toss them up in the air, and they start uh, taking pictures. So, I start, and I started off uh, because I was looking at, you know, one of these regular drones. Now, this would require that I fly the drone. Um, 
and uh, you know do a video at the same same time and use my Garmin Verb for my audio or something. My Garmin Verb right here, and that would work fine. Um, more expensive models have a hover in position uh, uh, ones where you can press a button and it just hovers and stays in the same position and then you can do your video if you want. Now the, the video that comes on this is uh, it's a 2 megapixel, they call it 720p, but uh, the, the quality is, uh, is very low. It's kind of the quality of the webcam on my MacBook uh, as an example. It's, it's not a full 720 nice crisp uh, video as this would be or 1080 uh, for, that, for that matter, um, but it's very cheap. Um, so I, I probably could get into it. So I've been thinking about it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get it, you know, next month. But uh, it is something I would be very interested in getting. And this this is a really fascinating uh, product to me. Thinking that you could turn it on, uh, you toss it up in the air. I I like what what's brilliant about this is really the uh, the fob that records your audio and then auto syncs it. So you, you don't have an iPad, you don't have a phone, uh, an app or anything necessarily. I think you can probably get one for it. But you just carry this fob around. And uh, you turn that guy on, toss it up in the air, and it just starts following the fob around. Which is absolutely amazing. And you can configure, you know, the, the video quality and other stuff. And uh, it'll do other things as well. And I'm sure you'll be able to fly it if you want. Um, but the fact that it's waterproof and it, and it just works, it's kind of instant on and go. I think uh, would make for a fascinating, um, fascinating set of videos and a real different experience uh, for the kind of vlogging and uh, video presentation. You really get some cinematic uh, videos and and uh, uh, scenes, I guess, um, for all the all the videos that you want to take. Real, really cool. Uh, what would otherwise look like high production cost sort of shots, you know, zooming around um, a house and uh, and uh, showing properties and stuff. I think that would be uh, absolutely amazing. So, and this is just this is just uh, kind of a dream along with me sort of video. And I don't know if you saw any any of these ones, but they're fascinating things. These uh, HHCs, um, they're about a hundred bucks, so it's they're kind of priced where you can sort of get into the drone space, try it out, and uh, maybe it would work for me if I could learn how to hover it. Um, I could probably do most of the video I would want, and then maybe just record audio with the with the verb, uh, or even have a second audio uh, video audio video feed uh, with the verb, and then just show the the drone video from the background while I, you know, while I talk or show you where whatever. Uh, but I just really think it, it is a fascinating and genius idea to kind of have an auto follow functionality where you don't have to think about it. It's a no brainer. Uh, you just turn the thing on and it just starts following you and recording and if you do something amazing like jump off a riverbank into a river or something it automatically goes into slow-mo for you to, to uh, add some drama and excitement to, to the show to the video so I thought that was cool so I don't know I just uh, you know I don't know how many people will be interested in this this video but I, I want to show it to you and I thought there was two really really neat uh, drones out there now and uh, this particular one the onigo fly one is probably the closest to being affordable uh, at least for what I would uh, get um, there was some drawbacks to it I forget well it's not waterproof for one and it is a little smaller so it wouldn't be as good in, in any kind of windy situation oh that was the thing um, it doesn't synchronize the audio whereas the the lily camera Auto synchronizes uh, all the audio that you uh, you know through the the fob. It records your audio and it automatically syncs it. Whereas the Anago Fly, uh, you would have to uh, have a secondary audio source record it and uh, then sync it up with the video after the fact in post processing, which is fine. You know, it's not the end of the world. Uh, but I just think for for people making videos, uh, cinematographers. Uh, people who are looking for kind of the real next step up in technology for uh, video uh, videography video um, it, it's late right now it's it's near midnight I can't really talk you get you get what I mean anyways so, uh, 
I, I, find, I think it's amazing, absolutely a super cool technology. Of all the technology that you can get, I think uh, this is some of the re really coolest stuff. The only thing this doesn't have is collision avoidance. Um, so that's a drawback. The Onigo Fly has collision avoidance, but doesn't have um, the audio syncing. This one has the audio syncing, but doesn't have collision avoidance. So if I'm walking through a forest, well, I couldn't walk through a forest with this as an example. Um, I couldn't uh, easily walk around my property necessarily uh, because I have tall trees in the house and various things. Unless there's a setting to kind of keep it five feet away from you or something. Not sure how that works, but pretty cool technology. And uh, I thought I'd put it out there. Who knows? I I, I may never get this, uh, but this is just one one of those things that I thought. Ah, you know. I, I should make a video about that. I think that'd be really cool for people to see and you know that techn technology is out there and it might spur you on, it might interest you uh, to look at drones and look at some of that new technology that's out there. So that's it for uh, for this one. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you uh, find any interest at all in it and uh, I'll see you on the next video.